right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. So here we go. The weight and the height gives way to the action right here on one side. Maybe the division's most well-rounded fighter taking on arguably the biggest submission threat in this division. Because he's such a great submission grappler, I believe that this is the most dangerous fight for him in the division. Wow. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up with him. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Now he's got the Muay Thai plum. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Clipped him with the right hand there. Takedown defense holds up. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Beautiful leg kick throw. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh, nice jab. Able to land with the left hand there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Final seconds of round one. Horn sounds for the end of round one. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't... Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Just over two minutes now to go on the round. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter and is going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Lands with the kick there. No pat on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick. Every time he throws. He's very tricky when he throws that body. And both guys really throwing with authority. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. There's no give on that leg kick. He missed with that jab attempt there. Nice kick. Round three next.
All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now moving forward. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood's corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Real sneaky body kick. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Big head kick. Under two minutes to go in the round. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Again, he's looking for that nice double leg takedown there. attempt there, and you gotta think that's something that's gonna give him confidence moving forward in this fight. A lot of confidence when it happens that easily. He took a shot, he got a takedown. What now will stop him from doing it over and over again? Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by LaFleur. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are because it's dangerous. But there are a lot of outs, and if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Big leg kick lands. What a punch. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. That shot is blocked by LaFleur. Nice one-two there. Back and forth we go. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Five seconds remain in the round. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Nice punch by Lee. Misses with the right hand. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All 
All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, and he caught the kick. Changes his stick. Another beautiful kick down lane. Oh, found the hole for that left hand. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You got to be careful. Lee's got the full mount. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. Beautiful strike. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. All right, let's look back at some of the action. DC, they go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision.